Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sean, and in today's video, we're gonna be discussing credit cards and debit cards. Also, stick around to the end, because there's gonna be a joke at the end, and I want you to tell me if you understand it. Everything you need to know about the joke in order to understand it will be in this video. So pay close attention. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right in. Now this video is another suggested video by one of my WhatsApp group members. Syed from Somalia says, difference between credit card, debit card, MasterCard, and Visa card, and how they are used in the world. Here in Somalia, a few people know and use credit card and debit card, but that's very rare, to be honest. So, I'm confused with them. Help me out. First, let's discuss the definition of a credit card. A credit card is a small plastic card issued by a bank or a business, allowing the holder to purchase goods or services on credit. Hmm, but what is credit? Credit is the ability of a customer to obtain goods or services before payment based on trust that the payment will be made in the future. So basically, you use this card to purchase something and you'll pay the bank or company back later with interest. What? What's interest? Interest is extra money you have to pay back to the lender on top of what was charged. So let's say the lender charges 15%. You bought something for $100, you have to pay the lender back $115. Now I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to get into the monthly payments, the minimum payments, and interest rates. I'm just giving you a basic idea of how they work. And just for your information, the two largest credit card companies are MasterCard and Visa. Now, what about debit cards? What is a debit card? A debit card is a card issued by a bank allowing the holder to make a purchase and have the money deducted from their bank account. These are very convenient and eliminate the need to carry money around. The bank also charges a monthly fee to use these cards. But again, I'm not gonna get into the monthly charges or percentages. I am just giving you a basic idea of how they work. So, to sum it up, a credit card is money that's not yours, but that you pay back later with interest. And a debit card is your money, but you also pay a monthly charge for it. Let's move on to how they are used and what you'll see when using them. I went out and took a few videos to show you how to use these cards. When at the POS machine, POS stands for point of sale, credit cards and debit cards are used the exact same way with one exception. When you use credit cards, you typically have to sign your name on the receipt for the store to keep for their records. Take a look at this card. It doesn't matter if it's a debit card or a credit card. They all have three payment options. Tap, insert, and swipe. Now let's start with the most convenient way. Tap. The tap option is available to cards that have the NFC chip embedded on them. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. To use the tap option, you simply tap or wave the card over the POS system and it reads the card and charges either your debit card or your credit card depending on what card you're using. Just take a look at this video that I took and I am tapping. I tap the card on the screen and it charged my card. Next is the insert option. Again, another chip embedded into the card and it's called EMV. EMV stands for EuroPay MasterCard Visa. To use this option, there is a slot at the bottom of the machine that you 
insert a card into. The card stays in that slot during the whole transaction until you're done making the payment. Be sure to remove your card when you're done. Don't forget your card. And the oldest option of the three is the swipe option. On the back of your card, there is a magnetic strip or magnetic stripe. It's also known as a mag strip. Now, if you're one of those people that pronounce it strip, be aware, strip has a second meaning. The other meaning of strip is to take off all your clothes. <laughs> Be careful using that word. To use this option, you quickly swipe the card through the POS machine. It can be a little bit confusing which way the black strip is supposed to be facing. Is it supposed to be facing that way? 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 Depends on the machine. Just take a look at these videos here. I am swiping with the mag strip down and I'm also swiping with the mag strip facing that way. Now that you know the different options for paying, what about the screen? What are you gonna see on the screen? Just watch this video. With tap, you don't have to worry about anything. It's just tap, payment's done. Don't have to do anything with the screen. You'll see stuff like please wait, sending, receiving, processing, transaction complete, thank you. Of course, they're gonna thank you for you giving them your money. But with the insert and the swipe option, you have to confirm the amount. This is usually done by pressing the green button, also known as the OK button. Then you have to select what type of account you want the money to come out of. Banks will offer you a checking account and a savings account. These are shortened to CHQ and SAV. I'm not sure what type of bank accounts they have in the UK, but I'm sure my buddy Gino will comment below and let us all know. By the way, guys, if you're not already following Gino's channel, I'll leave a link to his channel below. It's called Real Everyday English, and it's a great channel to learn English from. It's always good to learn English from other YouTubers with different accents. It helps you understand this crazy language that we call English. Okay, back on topic. So you've selected the account type. Now it's time to enter your PIN. PIN stands for Personal Identification Number. And this is used to finalize your purchase. The PIN can be from four all the way up to 12 digits long. Oof, I would not want to remember a 12 digit number. And this number just helps to protect your account. It's like a password. Sometimes we lose our card or someone steals it. And if the person stealing your card doesn't know your PIN, they can't take any money out of the machine. But if you have tap enabled, <laughs> they can go and make a purchase. But with tap, the limit is usually $100. If you make a purchase, anything more than $100, you have to insert or swipe. Okay, you punched in your PIN, hit that green button, hit that okay button. And then you'll see the normal, please wait, do not remove your card, sending, receiving, processing, approved, thank you. Okay, that's how successful transactions are done. What about the unsuccessful ones? What if you can't remember your pin? You'll get this message. What if the mag strip is damaged? You'll get this message. And what if you don't have enough money in your account? Eesh. You'll get this message. Sorry, I don't have a real life example for you. I had money in my account. Sorry, not sorry. Are we done? No? Aww. What about online purchases? Aha, but wait, we missed a, another card type. What would happen if a credit card and a debit card had a baby together? You would get a debit credit card. Of course, you can always use a credit card to make online purchases, but not everybody can get a credit card. So, banks now give out debit credit cards. And have no fear, they work exactly the same as credit cards. So in this example, don't worry if it's a credit card or a debit credit card, because they have the same information on them. Each card has numbers on them. Visa and MasterCards have 16 numbers on the front and an expiration date. 
The expiration date is the month and the year that the card will expire. And on the back, you have the black mag strip, but you also have a three digit CBB or a CBC number. Now, CVV stands for Card Verification Value, and CVC stands for Card Verification Code. And of course, this is just another security feature. You'll need all this information when filling out a purchase online. Okay, time for the joke. Had a bad mix up at the store today when the cashier said, strip down facing me. Apparently, she was referring to my credit card. Okay, who can explain to me why this is funny? Why was there a misunderstanding? Let me know down in the comment section. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you learn how credit cards and debit cards work, and I hope you learn some new vocabulary along the way. If you want to continue learning, you can check out these videos right here. And of course, smash my face, give me a good old punch in the face and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Peace.